This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. I think sometimes we underestimate the importance of children using concrete materials and manipulatives when learning, about, learning maths. about maths and studying the subject. And I really think it's very important that we are teaching children to understand maths, not simply to do it. Uh, what they're learning about really is the journey to get to a particular answer. So often the children are focused on the answer and whether it's right or wrong. But what's really important is that the journey that they take in order to get to that answer. So if they are wrong, then they can have some idea of working out why they are wrong and how they can correct it. And really, as a role as a teacher, we should be trying to get the children to understand the journey that they're taking and to understand what they're doing, not just following some sort of procedure as a result of us instructing them to get the answer in the final, uh, final point. I think there's children learn in different ways. So having a variety of different resources means that you can really explore what might work for one child, um, may not work for another. So for example, with the place value, you'll see there's many, many different ways and actually the concept that we're teaching is the same, but the materials the children will see is, is very different. Now, although this resource, these videos are aimed mainly at younger children, um, some of the activities have been quite challenging and we do this for a reason. We've Learners are all different. Children learn at different rates and you will have children who can uh, cope with more challenging activities and it's important to cater for that. So don't be afraid of letting children um, be challenged because um, they will often enjoy it. Uh, and also it can be a useful way of making sure that perhaps the more dominant children in the group have something a little bit harder to do so that they're not really affecting the chances of the other children from learning. And maybe think about grouping, how you group the children. Um, ability groups sometimes can be a good way of uh, overcoming a problem that you might have here. And also I think it's good to see how some of these resources are actually appropriate for use in uh, upper primary. All right, these concrete materials should not just be limited to just the younger children, they're suitable for everybody. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low-cost or no-cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.